Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the AMRAP Mentality Podcast. I'm excited to get on the microphone and talk to you guys today. It's been a little while. This podcast, we drink some coffee. I got some pour over, obviously blended it with some MCT powder from friends at Bubs. This is a short format episode where we dive into something I'm thinking about. And typically I used to do these every week. Some of you guys might be like, dude, where was this guy been? Well, I've been traveling a lot and I really haven't had anything that I felt like the audience would be interested in, so I didn't share. But then I remembered, and I got a direct message about this, that I was sharing things that were going on in my life, things that were important to me, things that opened my eyes, things that provided me insight. It wasn't about what the audience wanted, it was about what I wanted to share. And if the audience liked it, great. If they didn't, that's fine too, but I'm just sharing what's going on in my life. And so speaking of which, this motivation came from a trip that I took to Cookville, Tennessee, with a gentleman by the name of Rich Froning. So him and I were out there and he wrote an article in a father, fatherly magazine. And I had read it months earlier and it listed off the different things that he wished that he could tell his kids. And one of them was just because you're good at something that gets you the spotlight, doesn't make you any better than anybody else. And I read it once, I read it twice. And I went and talked to him when I was in Cookville and it really resonated with me. And I wanted to share with you today. You know, he's four-time CrossFit Games champion. He's been super dominant in the sport, uniquely dominant. Matt Frazier has been uniquely dominant as well. And they've received the spotlight because of it, rightfully so. But what he brought up to the point and something that really just, just took me back with his humbleness about this is that just because he's good at that, it doesn't give them the right to think that he's better than anybody else because those other people are probably really good at something. It just might not put them in the same spotlight that maybe being a professional athlete would give you. And so the motivation for this week and something I'm thinking about, something I'm fired up to share with all of you, is that what are you uniquely good at? You know, what I thought I was uniquely good at, what I thought, you know, as a sport of CrossFit and I competed there for a long time, I really thought that was it. But as I've grown older and I've opened my eyes and I've I've just been more open to conversations is that I realized that, you know, something I'm really good at and passionate about is also business. And had I been closed off, had I been thinking that just because of success I had had in something else defined me, well, maybe I wouldn't have been as open to finding out this new source that I was something I really enjoyed and I actually was good at. And so I hope everybody could sit there wherever they're at today and reflect on, you know, what are you doing to harness, harvest, explore different things, not just the same thing you think you have to stick with, but something that might be totally off the wall that you might be really uniquely good at. And it might provide you a ton, a ton of, you know, just fullness in your life. And so I hope everybody gets after it. I hope everybody finds that thing that they're good at. Just like Rich Froning said, just because you're good at something doesn't make you better than anybody else because everybody's good at something. But if you don't know what you're good at, go out there and go find out what it is because I guarantee you there's something. Guys, I really appreciate you taking the time to listen to these episodes. I get super excited because of the positivity we can share. Direct message me. Let me know how these are going. Share these with some friends. And go ahead and check out our friends over at bubsnaturals.com slash Jason for some MCT powder and a discount. They allow me to put that stuff in my coffee every day that gets me on another level. And I hope you guys can enjoy it too. I really appreciate your time today. Let's keep getting after it. Go find out what you're good at because I know you're good at something. And if you're talking to you right now, message me. Would love to hear from you. Have a great day.